Are you ready to take your business to the next level and make the money you want so that you can create the impact you desire? Then you're in the right place. It's possible to run a successful business built around your life. Get ready for a little bit of tough love and a whole lot of strategy to grow your business without sacrificing your sanity. If you're ready to get out of your own way and step into the role of CEO, then let's go. I'm Amy Tra, and this is the Motivated CEO Podcast. Are you struggling to get in front of your ideal clients? I get it. It can be a challenge. There are so many platforms out there. There are so many strategies, tips, tricks, techniques, but it's really not as hard as you're making it out to be. I mean, this episode, I want to break down the easy way to get yourself in front of your aligned clients. And I think the first thing that most entrepreneurs are missing is really having that clarity as to who is your ideal client? What are their dreams? What are their desires? What are their challenges? What are they dealing with right now? If you don't have the clarity as to who you're marketing to, the how will be so much more complicated because at the end of the day, you need visibility. Visibility is top of funnel. We need to have that awareness of how, how are people coming into my world? And I actually want to break down my top strategies. So in my world, Ideal clients come in one of two ways. They come in through my podcast or because they've read my book. The book just came out a few months ago, so that's still gaining traction. So really the podcast, yes, this podcast that you're listening to right now is the number one way that people enter into my world. But that might trip you up a little bit, right? So what did I do? I know that the podcast and the book are top of funnel. So what do I do all of the time? I get curious. I get curious and I ask myself, how? Let's take the podcast, for example. How are new listeners learning about the podcast? Number one, Networking. Whenever I'm networking, I always mention, hey, I have a podcast. You should take a listen. Sometimes I'll even recommend a specific episode that would help meet their needs, that would provide value to them. The next way I bring awareness to the podcast is through social media. Now, when I post about the podcast, those posts don't get a ton of likes, but I keep posting them. Why do I do this? Because it keeps this podcast top of mind. Because I might talk about something that you're dealing with right now, a challenge that you're having. And now I remind you that, oh yeah, she's got a podcast. So again, I'm bringing awareness to that. The next way that people find out about my podcast is When I'm a guest on other people's podcasts, I always make sure that I'm mentioning, hey, make sure you check out my podcast. As a guest on other people's podcasts, I want to attract listeners into my world. So if you're listening to someone's podcast that I'm a guest on, chances are you're probably really going to like my podcast as well, which brings me to the podcast network that I am a part of and cross promotions through that prod- podcast network. It's called Podcast Her. I'll link it below. Cross promotions through that network have been huge. What I do is we have mid-roll ads that run on other podcasts saying, hey, if you're liking this podcast, come check out mine. 
Because if we're consuming podcasts, obviously we like that medium. And word of mouth referrals and recommendations go so much farther than just scrolling through going, oh, is this podcast really worth my time? So being a part of a podcast network has been huge for visibility and growth. My next way that people are finding out about the podcast, and this one's newer for me, is through YouTube. Video content is exploding. And even though my views aren't through the roof, my number of subscribers aren't through the roof. And to be honest with you, we've only been really emphasizing YouTube content for about a month now. What is it doing? YouTube is a massive search engine. So when people are searching for keywords, key terms, key phrases, there's a likelihood that they will discover my podcast. So even if they're not watching the video, they're like, oh, I want to listen to that. I'm going to download a few episodes so that next time I'm sitting in the carpool pickup line or the car pickup line at school, I can binge that. I am be placing myself in front of my ideal client. The next one is when I have a guest on the podcast, oftentimes they'll share it out. Collaboration is so, so important. And it's such an easy tactic that you can be implementing. Collaborating with others has been huge for me. Mutually sharing each other out, sharing out the value that they provide has been amazing. The next way is when I market on my website, any type of opt-in that I have, I am letting people know that I have a podcast. So when you get that thank you confirmation page, hey, check out my podcast. I even market the podcast in my book that I wrote. If you're struggling with this, make sure you check out that episode. It's really about being strategic and asking how. How are people getting, gaining that awareness of my product, my service? How can I position myself in front of them? Because the goal of marketing is not to be everywhere. It is to be strategically in the places where your ideal client is located. And then once we position ourselves in front of them, once we gain that visibility and awareness, how are we moving them into our world? How are we moving them off of different platforms and onto platforms that we own? Because remember, social media is borrowed territory. You don't own those platforms. And right now there's a very, very high likelihood that, you know, TikTok could go away soon. We don't know how that's all going to play out. We don't know what is going to happen. But what happens if that platform goes away? Now you've lost all that content. You've lost all those followers. You have no way to engage with those followers. It's the same thing. You know, this has happened with Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. It's happened with all of the platforms where there's been something that has caused that platform to come to a standstill where people could not access the platform. Technology will always glitch. So I encourage you to move people into your world by providing more value, by serving them, by sharing that value that positions yourself as the authority, as the solution to the problem that they have. And it involves repeating yourself over and over and over, which as a business owner can be boring. It can be very, very boring, right? Nobody likes to repeat themselves over and over. It's like, you know, and you're, you're asking your kid to clean up their room, clean up your room, clean up, clean up your room. After a while, you get frustrated, but you're running a business. You're running a business and you need to repeat yourself 
all of the time. And basically, when it comes down to it, with visibility, it's test, guess, revise. It's really viewing it as an experiment. And this is why your data is so, so important. Because when you're looking at the data, you can see what's working and what's not working. In order to sell, in order to make money in your business, you have to have leads coming into your world. You have to position yourself in front of those aligned clients, aligned buyers, whoever you're selling to, you have to be able to sell to someone. So if you're on the wrong platform or trying the wrong strategies, this is where data is so important. You can see, okay, this is not converting. I'm not getting clients on Instagram. I am getting clients because of X, Y, and Z. Start tracking it. Get curious and ask yourself that important question. How? How are people gaining visibility? One of my other strategies that I loved, this worked so good way back when I had my first business. I knew that a lot of my potential clients were attending high ticket auctions. There's a lot of amazing nonprofits in my community. And a lot of them host annual galas, annual events where the tickets are upwards of $250 to $500 a ticket. So what did I want to do? I ran a home organizing business. So I knew that those people were my target clients. They could afford my services. They didn't want to spend the time themselves organizing and decluttering their homes. No, they wanted that transformation quickly. So what did I do? I positioned myself in front of my ideal client. I would make donations of my services to those auctions. And you know what it did? Even if someone didn't buy from me, they were still gaining that awareness. If someone didn't bid on my basket that I had donated, they're still like, oh, wait, that service exists around here? It's all about being strategic. It is so, so heartbreaking to me when I hear clients say, you know what, I'm, I'm doing all the things and just nothing's working. Are we tracking it? Are we figuring out what is working? Are we zooming out and asking ourselves how? How are people finding that thing, that product, that service? How are people finding me? Where are my clients at and how am I positioning myself in front of them? That's going to save you time. That's going to save you energy. And that is the key to gaining visibility in front of your ideal clients. I am here cheering for you. And until next time, cheers to making the money you want so you can create the impact you desire. Are you loving what you're hearing? Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss an episode. 